Hey everybody, it's Nikki. Welcome to my channel, The Everyday Life of an OCD-ish Chick. Today we're spotlighting this beautiful Croton. Just look at her, so beautiful. Look at the colors on this girl. The yellow and the green, the orange and the red. Such a beauty, whether indoors or outdoors. Beautiful, yes it is, but also very toxic. So if you have children or pets who are into eating plants, please keep them away. Soil, you ask? Just your standard house plant potting mix will do, mixed in with some perlite. Keep soil evenly moist and let it dry out between waterings. Weekly waterings should be just fine. If humidity is low in your home, mist around the leaves with water once a week. For the absolute best color development, crotons should receive a good amount of sunlight. A good location would be near a sunny window. And don't forget pruning. Without regular pruning, crotons tend to become sparse and leggy. That wouldn't be a good look. If you find her leaves falling off, oh my, it could be exposure to cold or extreme heat. Overwatering could also cause the same. Crotons can also be grown outdoors in areas with warm, humid climates. This would be so pretty outdoors in the garden. Although they do love good light, they do need protection outdoors during the full midday sun. When temperatures drop around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, they will need to be taken indoors. The last and most important tip, eat a crouton, not a croton. <laughs> Find something you love and have fun doing it.